Hello and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. Join me as I take you through the results of my last grocery shopping haul. Hello Mountain Patriot Homestead family and welcome to another supermarket haul. You will see that this video, once it gets into it, it shows me outside uh, where I originally recorded this, but now it is raining and I am inside. What happened is apparently my phone didn't record the first maybe five, 10 minutes of this, so I'm having to redo this. So I'm sorry for the kind of pieced together stuff and the mess that it is, but please bear with me. Um, I, what I was telling you in the beginning was that this is at the Benton Dent store where I do a majority of my shopping. It's not for things that I absolutely have to have, but it is for things to fill in holes in my pantry and just for things that we will use at, around the homestead. It is, I never buy stuff just because I might use it. I only buy things that I know that I will use. So I don't buy things just because it's a good price or it's on sale. It is things that I will use. And also, um, when you see me looking away sometimes you know i have the attention span of a squirrel and so you may see me looking off whenever it gets into the recording outside because you know birds fly by and goats are doing things and so i'm watching everything as as it all goes on as well as you will see me looking down because i do have notes because i can't remember diddly off the top of my head so I do have notes and you will see me looking down. Also, you'll see me moving around because I'm reaching for things and setting aside things. So there's a lot of movement. So just bear with me. Uh, the first two items that I covered that the video actually missed was the first is a um, off the bone ham that I bought that is cut from the deli there at the little salvage store. Uh, the retail of it was $9.77. Uh, if I would have bought something very similar at the, um, at the supermarket retail, and at the Benton Dent was $5.99 a pound. It wasn't quite a pound that I got, but I used a pound just to help me uh, be able to figure it a little easier and it would have come to a $3.78 savings between the two prices. Now, whenever I am giving you prices, the retail prices that I give you are prices that um, I try to get as close as I can using stores that are fairly easy to get to. Uh, for example, Walmart, a Target, a um, any of the large chain grocery stores, I try to use those as much as possible because that is what most people would have access to. So when I'm giving you prices, I'm trying to give you something to compare that maybe you have access to or, you know, something similar. And... Um, it's also, if I can't find that exact item, I will try to get something as close to that item as I can. Just like that off the bone ham was uh, the closest thing that I could get. It's a, um, the closest retail that I could get to that was a Primadella brand that Walmart sells. So that just kind of gives you an idea. And the next thing that I was showing you was a thick cut bacon. I do not like thin cut bacon. It's like, you know, I don't want to read my newspaper through my bacon that I'm trying to eat. So I got a four pound package or it was right at four pounds of um, thick cut bacon. And the closest bacon of this similar quality that I got 
the closest retail price $5.99 a pound and I paid $3.99 a pound and because of the weight the retail price would have been $26 and my price was $17.32 so I saved $8.68 so that catches you up so far to where we are when the recording starts outside so stand by i'm sorry my camera was doing weird things had to pause there for a second this corn um, is it can be used in salads it can be cooked it can be put in cornbread it can be used in casseroles and it's ready made um, but this is a 29 ounce can of corn. $1.49 is what I paid. When I checked for Walmart for the great value, same size, $1.08. So I actually paid 41 cents more than I could have got it at Walmart. So, you know, sometimes th that will happen. If you are not familiar with what store prices are, you may spend more. I have not previously done this. I've, I've been very fortunate that the prices at the Little Benton Dent are not more than retail, but this was not one of them. So, you know, 41 cents, I went in the hole on this one. Okay, I'm just going to set some things off to the side so I can dig a little more. Now, this one I have got before. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you've seen me get this. This is the equivalent of Velveeta. Um, and it is, I, when I priced this, I did not price it at the Velveeta price. I actually priced it at the great value price, which of course is cheaper, but I did not want to oversell it and make you think, you know, okay, she's just, going for the higher prices. So I priced it for the great value. And the great value, I would have had to got two packs of this because this is a 32 ounce. I paid $5.99 for the 32 ounce. And for great value, theirs is $5.28 for 16 ounces. I'd have had to got two of those. for So it would have been $10.96. So I saved $4.97 by getting this. This is a really good cheese. It really is, I say good cheese. It's really not a cheese, not by my definition of cheese, but it's good for melting and putting over stuff, nachos and stuff like that. My husband likes this kind of cheese over that sort of thing. So um, it's really good for, for dips and things. So I do get this and um, it's, it's, I would equate it with Velveeta. I really would. I think it's a, it's a good cheese. So if you come across it, it's another Walnut Creek brand. If you come across it, um, you might try it out. All right. The next one is, you know, and this is, this stuff is not fancy stuff. And you see, it's got a little dent in it, but you know what? I checked it, made sure that there are no, um, you know, that it's not puffed up and, you know, there's nothing wrong with the can. It's not busted or anything like that. So it's still fine. And this Popeye's chopped spinach, my husband loves Popeye's brand. So at the store, uh, retail would have been $1.32. I paid 79 cents for it. That's a savings of 53 cents. Again, a lot of this stuff is not like humongous savings. However, you know, 53 cents, you get enough of those and you're doing pretty good. The next one is just another can of vegetables and it is lima beans. Now, again, a little dent in the can. It's probably why it's there at the little salvage store, but I don't care. You know, as long as the there is no breach of the can, it's fine. It will still taste just as good. And these are lima beans. Now, these lima beans kind of surprised me because I didn't realize lima beans were so expensive because I guess it's been forever. I usually buy beans dry. But again, it's not bad to have cans of things in, the, in your cupboard as well. So these Del Monte lima beans uh, at Walmart, $1.38 for this same size can. That, 
I, like I said, I didn't realize llama beans had got so expensive because I don't really know a lot of people that eat llama beans. Do you eat llama beans? Let me know. Um, 59 cents for the llama beans. So I saved 79 cents. Again, not bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I just totally fibbed to you. I was looking on the wrong one. $1.94 for lima beans. That's why I was thinking it was so expensive. $1.94 for the lima beans at Walmart. 79 cents is what I paid for that. I looked at the price on the end of that and said, whoa, I know I told you the wrong thing. So I saved $1.15 for this can of lima beans. Again, not a, uh, not a bad price. Here was what I was giving you the price of a while ago. Nothing wrong with this can other than the labels tore a little bit, but that's okay. I can still tell that it's green beans. And my, even though I grow beans, my husband likes his French style and stuff. He's a little, little on picky side, so he likes the French style green beans. These were the ones that were 59 cents and were $1.38 at Walmart, so I saved 79 cents. Okay, now, I did leave this out because they were froze hard as rock anyway. So, I got two butters, and um, they, butter has got expensive. I don't know if you've priced butter or if you use butter. A lot, I know a lot of people use margarine, and I can't believe it's whatever, and that sort of thing. But I like real butter. I like just the taste of real butter. And... Their butter that's again Walnut Creek, three sixty nine uh, a box for it. It's um, and I equate it with the equivalent of uh, like Land Lakes or one of those. It's good quality butter, good sweet cream butter, and uh, four ninety eight at the store. Uh, I got two of those, so I had a savings of two fifty eight. Right. Keep digging in here. Um, this is. The blue corn masajarina, it's corn flour. That's what it is. It's good for making tortillas or anything that uh, that you use corn flour. I like making my own tortillas. Uh, it's just got that fresh flavor and I like it. Um, but the uh, this brand of corn flour was $12 retail, I paid $4.99, so I saved $7.01. Not, not bad. Now these, you've seen me get bigger ones of these before. Uh, I had been getting a different brand of the powdered milk, and um, but this is what they had today. I noticed that the other brand that I had been getting had went from $2.99 a container which was a big container. And I know that they just had not researched it well enough because in one of my previous videos, I think I said something about it was $2.99 and online they were like $45. So, cause I thought a lady was lying when she was telling me they were almost $50 online and I looked it up and no, she was right. And I'm sure they did a little bit more research and they've got them $9.99 a container for the other ones now. So I didn't pick up any of those. They've been out of them for a while and they did have some, but I didn't get them because I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna pay that much. Um, I did find these though. These are the 12, uh, almost 12 and a half ounce. Well, this 12 and a half ounces of, and it's powdered milk. It's the Ken, the uh, Nido, Nido, it's Nestle brand and it is powdered milk and it was a dollar ninety nine for a container of this at the at retail six fifty eight. I picked up four of these, which means I saved eighteen dollars and thirty six cents for four of these. So again, if you're wondering what I use this for, I use it just like I would any other powdered milk product. I use it in baking. I use it in my coffee, like coffee creamer. Um, so, and it is shelf stable. Um, it on the bottom says best if used by, that doesn't mean when it hits that date, it's done for, no. It's best if used by, that means, you know, over time the quality will degrade uh, and it may not taste quite as good 10 years from now as it does right now, but unless this container gets breached and it, you know, 
goes rancid or something, it's going to be good. And if you're trying to figure out how do I know it when it is not good anymore, you've got this thing here in, right in the center of your face um, that most things will tell you when they're not good anymore. If they smell off, if they, you know, when you open something and it don't smell right, first of all, please don't ask your spouse like mine does. Does this smell good to you? Does it smell good to you? If it doesn't smell good to you, then I don't want to smell it. But, you know, use your nose. If something doesn't smell good, if something doesn't look right, do you want to chance it? You know, I... Uh, if you don't want to chance it, don't. Uh, you know, is it worth a dollar ninety nine getting sick over? No, you know, no, because I guarantee you, anything, you know, anything to do with any type of medical services is going to cost you more than a dollar ninety nine. So, if you're not sure, don't use it. But um, I know for a fact these will be good for a very long time. All right, what's next? Oh. I've got this stuff before, and I was hoping they still had some because I like it every once in a while in my coffee because it's a good treat, and it's the Nestle Whipper Mix. It is a dark chocolate, and it's a powder. It's like a cocoa, hot cocoa mix, and I'll just use a spoon of that in my coffee, and my goodness, this stuff is good. And normal retail, I noticed, I forgot what the price was when I looked it up last time on retail, but I know I'm pretty sure it was not $19, but when I looked it up today, it was $19 for it. Um, but I paid $6.99, so I saved $12.01. Still, not a bad price. Okay, let's keep digging in here. What else have I got? What am I looking for? Oh, there's, there it is. All right, this is an organic sauerkraut. You know, honestly, most things, if it says organic or not on it, I really don't care. Uh, most things, even if it says organic, I know they've got a lot of rules and regulations and things that they've got to follow for a farm to be organic. But I tell you what they cannot they cannot control is the stuff that falls out of the sky. Uh, whether it's dust, smoke, rain, they can't control what's falling out of the air. So uh, short of it's grown inside in a controlled environment, in a warehouse somewhere, they can't control what, if it's growing out here in the fields, they can't control what's falling out of the sky on it. So just my little rant about organic. I'm, I don't spray pesticides and things on my plants out there, but I know I cannot control what's falling out of the sky on it. So, you know, I'm not going to say that it's pure and there's nothing harmful in it. I can't control what's falling out of the sky. So anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch, organic sauerkraut, uh, this actually came from the health, it's the health food store brand that's in town. And um, I priced the, the price for this organic sauerkraut and about fell over because it's like, you know, I like sauerkraut. Sauerkraut and weenies and a, a cake cornbread and you got a meal. I got a meal. I don't know if anybody else has a meal, but I love sauerkraut, weenies, and cornbread. Um, this sauerkraut, $9.99 for a jar of sauerkraut. $9.99. I, no, I don't like it that much. Uh, I paid $1.99, which is still kind of on the steep side, but this will make several meals. It's over a pound of sauerkraut, so that'll make several meals. I, that That's not bad. Um, I don't like keeping all kinds of jellies. I'm sure I make jellies, but I'm sure you've seen me buy several jellies during these hauls. I just like jelly. And um, this is an apricot. It's a natural, uh, natural, it says fruit spread, which makes me wonder. Let me look here. Uh, apricots, apricots, however you pronounce it. Sugar, fruit pectin, and citric acid. So basically the same thing if I was making it 
what's in there, so I don't know why they don't call it jam, jelly, whatever, but it is a 17.25 ounce jar of natural apricot fruit spread, and it is Smokers, and it would be $3.99 at the store. I paid $99, so I saved $3.00. Again, three dollars ain't nothing to sneeze at. I uh, don't mind that at all. Uh, I was kind of proud of this spot, this find here. Uh, it's pure raw honey, 22 ounces, of beautiful honey. I'm holding it up to the light. I mean, it's just it's gorgeous honey. But it, it the ingredients are honey. Um, look at those little. If you go to, and I'm not picking on Popeyes. I love Popeyes chicken. But if you pick up the little honey packet at, say, Popeyes, look at the ingredients on the honey packet. It's not going to say pure honey. It's going to say something like corn syrup and a bunch of other things and then honey. I mean, it's not going to be just, it's not going to say 100% honey. Or at least not at our Popeyes. It, it, I won't even eat it because it's like, if I want to eat corn syrup, I'll just go buy corn syrup. So this is pure raw honey. Um, grade A honey and a jar this size would be $10.48 at retail. I paid $4.79. I got four jars of this. I may go back and get more. The lady that checked me out, love this lady. She's so sweet. Um, I talk to her every time I'm in there. Uh, she was asking the little boy that was boxing up my stuff, uh, do we have more of that? She said, because people are just taking it out by the truckloads. And he said, we have 1,200 jars. So I didn't feel bad about buying four jars of this. I saved $22.76 on this honey. Now, I don't eat just a lot of honey. My daddy loved honey. He would eat honey on biscuits. He'd eat honey with peanut butter. He'd just eat honey. He loved honey. I don't just eat honey like that, but I'll tell you what honey is good for other than just a sweetener. It is an excellent medicinal. Um, it, you know, it can be used for so many medicinal reasons and it is, it's just very good for you. So if you don't know about, and we may even do a video about it, uh, about the medicinal uses of honey. But I got four of these and uh, $22.76 savings. Okay, now I got a couple of jars of this. Uh, normally I wouldn't pick up this, but I got a couple of jars because we've got birthdays coming up. And me and my husband both, I'm sorry, I'm like going to sleep. Me and my husband both um, love shrimp and he boils the best shrimp. So uh, I kind of got this kind of as a hint that um, we've got birthdays coming up soon and I really would like some shrimp and um, I got this is shrimp scampi sauce it's McCormick brand so you know it's a good brand and I got two two things of it and uh, you know again this is one of those things would it be hard to make it no it would not it would not be difficult to make it at all but it's in there it's on the shelf I can grab it and we can go with it I, this is something I would not buy if I did not find it for 79 cents for this jar of it because apparently retail price unless somebody can tell me that you can find it somewhere else for cheaper than eight dollars and nine cents I about choked on my tongue even trying to say it eight dollars and nine cents for scampi sauce um, I paid 79 cents. And so for two of them, I saved $14.60. I'd, uh, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, another sauce here is uh, chimichurri sauce. And I probably just mispronounced that. If y'all haven't known, I can barely speak English. <laughs> so when I start trying to say things in other languages, um, like I said, I'm 50, almost 58 years old, and I can't, hadn't even got the swing of English yet. So, um, but this is a a good sauce for using. You can use it to dip bread in, 
you can use it on meats. It's wonderful on chicken, but it's parsley, garlic, rosemary, oregano. You know, it's got all these herbs in there, so it is really good stuff. And um, if uh, you want something to just make food just a little different, pick up, pick up different sauces. Try different sauces. And some of them you won't like, some of them you will. Um, but this is a is a good sauce and it was 99 cents 6.99 for retail six bucks saved okay. and sorry okay this is um you know i try to stay stocked on olive oil especially since i recently heard that some places are having olive oil shortages so um, I picked up some more olive oil. I try to keep extra on hand. Uh, this, this brand at the retail would be $11.46. I paid $5.99. I, I saved $5.47 on it. Nice jar. So I saved quite a bit of money um, and got a 25.4 ounces of olive oil. And it's the extra virgin, so I can use it for a myriad of things. All right. I got three jars of this. I don't know if y'all have tried better than bouillon, but this is good stuff. It is good to have around. I try to keep it in uh, every time they have it at Benton Dent, I snatch it up because they will have different flavors. And this one today that I found happened to be uh, turkey bouillon. And uh, it's a turkey base, and you can use it for making gravies, uh, for adding flavor to things. And um, so I picked this up. The turkey bouillon at retail, $3.99. Some of the others, it, like the beef, and, and uh, I'm trying to remember what the other one was that's real high. But there's one of them that's like $6.99 a jar um, retail. You know, so if you, I can find this stuff for $2.99, and normally it's $3.99, I've still saved $2 for two jars. Uh, actually, I got three jars, so I've saved $3 for that. Now, something I had not seen before, if I can stretch over here. Sorry, people. Okay, I had not seen this in there before, but it sounded good, and when I started reading on the, the instructions, it said, not only is it a dessert topping that you can drizzle over your ice cream or pound cake or whatever, but you can use it in your coffee. And y'all know I'm all about my coffee. So I picked this up. It is Frederick's and one is tiramisu and one is classic s'mores. And they both sound wonderful especially about now. I know it's hot outside, but I still, I like my coffee. I don't care what weather it is. I paid 99 cents for each jar and I priced it at uh, $4.95 for one jar and I paid 99 cents. And so for two of them, I saved $7.92. Now this next thing you're gonna recognize because you've seen me get these before. And that's the, thanks heavy, garbanzo beans. Now, yes, it is heavy because it's 110 ounces. If you want to get your workout in. Uh, 110 ounces, watch me drop it. 110 ounces of garbanzo beans. I've told you before, I love hummus. So I will recan these. And yes, I do recan big cans into my canning jars. So I use, I recan it and then I will use it. It can be used in soups, but my favorite way to use it is I make my own hummus and it's right there. Um, I drain the jar of beans uh, when I take them out. Let's set that down. Um, when I take them out, I'll drain that jar. I'll leave them in the jar, my canning jar, and I'll put my other ingredients in there with it and then I use my little, um, can't think what you call it right now. It's like a little hand blender thing. You know, I, again, English escapes me sometimes. Uh, but I use my little hand blender thing and blend my hummus up right in the jar. 
And then when it's ready and I just want to put it back in the refrigerator, I just screw the lid on and I've got hummus in the refrigerator. It's really simple. So uh, just a little tip there, no, no extra charge. I'm gonna set this down and I'm back. And I did get, I can, I did get a 12, a 12 can, trying to say how, figure out how to say that, a um, 12 can case of soft drinks, soda waters, Cokes, whatever you want to call them, but it's not Coke brand, that's just the, you know, that's just the Southern thing, everything's Coke, but um, this is, my husband loves Diet Mountain Dew, he, he, tea and Diet Mountain Dew, he, that, if that's all he could ever drink again, he'd be good, um, but I picked up something, now he'll frown upon it because it is not Mountain Dew, it is Diet Mountain Lion, now, it's from Food Lion, so I see I see what they done there, but I thought that was cute, Diet Mountain Lion. So I picked it up and I drank one, and it does it doesn't taste exactly like Mountain Dew, but it does taste pretty close. It doesn't taste bad at all, and um, so I paid two ninety nine for it, and for I didn't even price it against Mountain Dew because I didn't think that'd be fair. So I used Walmart's knockoff, what is theirs called? Uh, Diet Mountain Lightning or something, I, I, whatever it is. But it's it's Walmart's knockoff of a Mountain Dew. And their price was $4.46 and so I saved $1.47. I got so sidetracked with a garbanzo bean tip while ago, I forgot to tell y'all. I paid 99 cents for that can. I got two cans of them. At retail's $5.98, I saved $9.98. I'm sorry, I got side drive. I was so happy with hummus that I forgot what I was talking about all ago. And lastly, and these, I may go back to town. If, or I say, I'm not gonna drive back to town. That'd kind of defeat the purpose of saving any money. But if I go back to town, this weekend, and even if I don't, probably the first day that they're open next week, I'm gonna go back to see if they have more of these because this is a really good savings. I know a lot of y'all out there are just rolling your eyes because you're like, why don't you just hand wash your dishes? Well, I do if the dishwasher's broke. <laughs> Otherwise, I use the dishwasher, but um, I went and found these hid on a little shelf at almost at the very bottom and they had a few more boxes of these it is their all-in-one ultra finish power ball dishwasher detergent things for the dishwasher now th there's 140 of them in there i don't usually buy this packet because it usually is well i'll tell you 32.99 is what they are at walmart $32.99 for that because I use the little, you know, where it reads the little um, barcode on it. I used Walmart's little barcode and read it. Uh, $32.99 for a box of these. I paid $16.99. I saved $16, almost half price for this box. I will go back and get more of these if they still have them because these are shelf stable. They'll never go bad unless they get wet and I don't plan on having a huge flood up here on the mountain. So um, I do plan on getting some more of these because I, I think that's worthwhile. Okay, so let's set this back down. So what do you think? That, I don't know if you've been adding up this as you went along or not, but um, what do you think that my savings were for all of this stuff? Uh, the only other thing that I didn't include in this, because there's really not a comparison, my husband likes, for whatever reason, we make our own bread, but he likes these heels that um, come from the little deli there at the at the Benton Dent, because, I don't know, he just likes them. And, uh, um, 
they're always on their little clearance rack if they have any and I paid $2.49 for them. Didn't even try to compare, you know, what that would have been. So that's not even included in this whole, um, this whole figuring. But on everything that I've showed you that I got today, um, the savings on everything that I got here today, can you see that? One fifty-seven sixty-five. I saved a hundred and fifty-seven dollars and sixty-five cents with what I bought today. Now, would I have spent? Would I've got all this stuff first of all if I had to pay? Because I spent one hundred and twenty-nine dollars, and that was counting the bread. So, without the bread, was I one twenty-six? Then if I added that other, sorry, you hear the baby goats in the background just hollering. A mama must have got out of sight. Um, if I added that 157 in there with it, you'd have been looking at almost $300 for groceries. I do not. I mean, there's some people that'll go spend $500 at a drop of a hat for groceries. That is not me. You know, I we grow enough, raise enough stuff here that um, I do not deem it necessary to spend that kind of money. However, when I can save $157 on groceries, I will spend $129 to get that kind of savings because I will stock up and put things and have, you know, have the occasional little splurges in my coffee and and things like that. So, um, you know, $157 is a pretty large, substantial savings. So again, even if you don't have a store like this around you, look around, ask. There, guarantee you, you go somewhere, even if it's on a day trip, there is somewhere that you go that has stores similar to this or check your local stores and just find out um, where their clearance department is what day do they mark down their meats uh, do they have um, uh, a bin that they keep produce in that may be getting a little older um, you know just check find out you know where you can obtain things at better prices. There's no need suffering and doing without um, if you don't have to. Ask, ask around and find out. Um, there, I was in that, in Benton today when I was getting this stuff, I, there, it was so crowded. And I even joked when I went up there to check out, I was talking to Miss Sandy and the little boy that was boxing up my stuff. And I keep saying little boy, He's like the assistant manager. Um, and I was up there and I was telling her, I'm gonna have to quit talking about y'all on YouTube because my fishing hole's getting way too crowded. <laughs> and she was laughing. And uh, I said, uh, I even asked about uh, possibly interviewing them uh, uh, and about the store at some point. And they were up for that. So if you would like to see me do an interview and maybe a little walk through there at the store sometime let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up something to let me know that you would be interested in seeing uh, some type of a uh, interview with them there and um, i told you at the beginning of this that there i kind of had a theme going that i didn't really intend to have a theme going on but um i, I did and uh, what it is, is did you notice many, if not most, of these containers are glass? Uh, most of this stuff that I got in here was glass. Um, why does that matter? Well, for one thing, I reuse the glass, the glass jars. Some of them, now some people's gonna be horrified because they're like, oh, you can't do that. Some jars can be recanned in. You can recan them. These are good for recanning jellies in. 
but jars like this, once it's emptied and good and clean, I will use it. Um, because especially like this green glass and stuff is really good for tinctures and infused oils and that sort of thing. So I will reuse these jars, uh, these glass jars around the house. So um, that was that was just kind of uh, an impromptu theme that I wasn't really trying to go for, but it happened anyway. Oh, one of the other things that. I didn't include in here that I've just flat forgot about was, uh, and so it wasn't even added in the figures because it kind of got lost in the shuffle, is that uh, Darky Famous Sauce, and I've showed you that before in other videos. I paid 79 cents for it. I forgot what it is retail, but like I said, it wasn't even in my figures. Um, but this is some good sauce in case you've never tried it. It's kind of a blend of mustard, Oh, excuse me, getting the hiccups. Mustard, mayo, that sort of thing. So, but it's a really good sauce. I love it. But anyway, got that too. All right. That was a whole lot of stuff uh, that I tried to cram together. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you've learned a little bit of something from it. And I do hope that you come back for more videos. I always love visiting with y'all. Y'all have a great afternoon, and please leave me any comments below, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Love y'all. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out.